Yo, what is going on, everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior, and you guys can find me on Twitter at So Superior. The link will be down in the description there. I'll give stuff away like Control Freaks or uh, Xbox Live cards, or um, I tweet out whenever I want people to play with me, and then you can just send me a message on Xbox after you see the tweet, and I'll get you in my game. So definitely follow me on Twitter. It's the best possible way anyone can connect with me. Um, like I said, it's at So Superior. That'll be down in the top of the description. But anyway, let's get on to episode six. Of best class setups and in this episode we're going to be covering an extremely extremely underrated submachine gun that um you know i used a lot when the game first came out but then i kind of moved on to the mtar and assault rifles and whatnot so that submachine gun is the vector crb or sh the vector for short now this gun has a great rate of fire and it's extremely mobile as is any submachine gun and my favorite thing about it is the damage drop off and what I mean by that is the damage drop off from how many bullets it takes to kill at close range to how many bullets it takes to kill at long range. That difference is very small. And uh, with most submachine guns like the CBJ or the Vepr or the MTAR, you know, it normally has like a two to three bullet drop off. And in this gun, with this weapon, it only has one. For example, at close range, it takes four bullets to kill. And at long range, it takes five. Now, obviously, if you hit him in the head, it's going to take less bullets. So it's definitely not that big of a difference. Um, you know, it's a lot smaller than with other submachine guns. And the class setup will be popping up on your screen right now. Now, you see I have the vector with grip and suppressor. Now, you guys have probably noticed by now that my attachments that I use on my weapons are pretty universal around any category of weapon whether it be assault rifle marksman rifle or anything like that I like good grip because this gun already has very little recoil and when you put on the grip there's even less recoil so you know that kind of gives you the option of whether you want to use the grip or take it off and put on extended mags if you're playing like ground war on a next-gen console suppressor keeps you off the radar so that's almost a necessity now the camo that I'm using in this gameplay, um, I know camo doesn't really affect the gun at all, but a lot of people have been asking in videos where I have used this camo, and it is the ice camo, and the only way you can get the ice camo is by purchasing the season pass, which is like $54, I think it was when I got it, and um, you know, is it worth it for a camo? I mean, that's up to you to decide, but uh, you know, I bought it because I wanted the, the map packs and everything um, for free when they came out, so you know, I thought it was worth it, And um, but that's kind of up for you to decide. Now, as far as perks go the perks for my class setups are pretty much universal across any submachine gun or any assault rifle class now i'm using quick draw because i love to be able to aim down sight fast even though on a submachine gun you could put on steady aim uh just because you're when you're rushing around with a submachine gun you know i don't really find myself aiming down sights too much just because they're up in personal engagements for lack of a better term uh dead silence because i don't want to get sound horde amplified because i love sound whoring uh with my a40s now those are two extremely hypocritical perks and i'm not sure why you're even able to use them together it's kind of overpowered but hey i like and helps you get chem strikes now i also have focus on just because if you don't get first shot and you don't have focus on you know you're dead might as well just leave the game then because there's no way you're going to win that gunfight um, at least that's in my situation because I'm not the best player and then we have hardline because I want to be able to get my specialist get more perks to help me survive and keep my streak going now let's jump into the specialist at first at my three point slot I have scavenger because how are you going to get any kills if you just run out of ammo you know the 90 bullets that you start with that you start in like your entire clip in the gun um, and in your like in your entire ammo capacity 90 bullets isn't going to be en enough to get a chem strike unless you know you run out of ammo and you just knife everyone so you need scavenger fully loaded something like that and then at number six i have sleight of hand now sleight of hand does help you reload and you know that's just kind of a perk that isn't really necessary but it's definitely nice to have now you notice i don't have an eighth perk uh, just because it's so nice to be able to get those extra like four perks or whatever you have at your bonus and be able to get that at like seven or eight kills rather than at the 10 or like 12 that you would normally get if you had that third perk on and at the bonus I have stalker just because it's nice to be able to be super quick and swift aiming down sights like Alex Ovechkin on the on the hockey court or hockey rink <laughs> ice rink my bad um, and then I have takedown and blind eye because those are kind of two stealth perks that really help you take off the map and just be that much harder to find and then I have blast shield because all of those IEDs that bugs everyone and you know nothing is worse than dying off a streak to a freaking IED thrown by a camper so I do hope you guys tried this class setup the gameplay was a free-for-all chem strike that I actually got not too long after the game was out if you look at my rank I'm actually not that high um, so I do hope you guys enjoyed the video like if you guys enjoyed subscribe if you guys are new and be sure to follow me on Twitter down in the description below and have a fantastic day everybody I am out